Hey Aries, and thank you guys so much for tuning in. All right, guys, so this is going to be a past, present, and future spread for June 2017. I already have everything out and pre shuffled, cards are out, but I will shuffle more just to get some clarifiers, okay? So let's jump right into this. And if you guys need any information or want your own personal reading, I'll leave everything in the description for after the video, okay? All right, guys, so your energy is a seven of swords. So there's some sense of someone creeping around. There's some stuff going on, you know. Um, there might be someone who's not being completely honest about things, okay? So let's dive in and see what this is about. All right, so in your past, you have the death card. So there's definitely a situation that you put an end to. So this is, you know, completing one cycle and starting a new cycle, okay? The next card you have is the Five of Wands. So with the Five of Wands, this is a card about like frustration, competition, bickering, going back and forth. You know, this could be with work, this could be, you know, in a loving relationship, this could be at home. But there's a sense of like people um, just kind of going at it, not in a really heavy way, but more of like it could be kind of like a gossiping sort of way. Okay, so nothing that's going to like physically kill you or anything. So not that heavy. And the Six of Pentacles in the reverse is your last card for the future. So this is telling me that there was something that was unbalanced. Either you guys were giving too much to a situation or you weren't giving enough. Okay? But let's clarify on this and see what's going on. What is this death card about? What is this death card about here for Aries? Oh, 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 oh. I will take that one. So you guys got the lovers, okay? So maybe you ended a relationship with someone, okay? Or maybe something changed that now you got into a relationship with someone, okay? But there was a change on the love front. So either you were getting out of something or coming into something. Um, it could be you coming into something because it did come down after the death card. But it's like something ended in the past and now you're starting something new with someone else, okay? Now, what is this Five of Wands about? Okay. So, I did, with this Five of Wands, it, it makes sense because I did get the uh, Knight of Cups in the reverse. So, it's like there's a competition, in a sense, because there's somebody who's being promiscuous. There's somebody who's having multiple lovers. And that's where the competition's coming from. Okay? So, it's like you ended something, you may have gotten into a relationship, but either them or you um, is still kind of shopping around just to see what's going on. And what is the Six of Pentacles about? Okay. So, it's like, yeah, you're either not giving enough or giving too much to a situation, but you are coming from a place that you are, you know, healing from something. Uh, with the moon card in the reverse, it's like you found out secrets already. You found out what deception was happening in the past, but now you're coming to a place of healing. Let me just get one more card for that. Okay. So you guys got uh, the nine of wands in the reverse, okay? So this is you guys feeling like maybe you want to give up on something. Maybe you're giving too much and you feel like you want to give up on it, okay? Because you have this person here that's being like promiscuous around you, and they're they're... You know, they, they might have several lovers, and it's just like, you know, I, I don't feel like I could do this. And with this card in the reverse, this could be you being, like, super just paranoid and feeling like you really, really want to give up on the situation. All right? Now, uh, going into um, your present moment, and I did want to mention, guys, I'm sorry, that the page of wands is in the reverse is at the bottom of the deck right now. So, yeah, there could be a delay on passion. You could be just feeling like you, you don't want to deal with the situation or like you gave too much to a situation and you're trying to heal, which, you know, um, which can put a delay on passion. So going into your present moment, you have the Six of Cups in the reverse. So this is letting go of something from your past that no longer serves you, okay? Or this could be finding out that someone from your past got with someone else, that they moved on. But this is just a sense of moving on from something in the past. So again, it's like you're starting something new and, you know, you got to walk away from the past in order to do so. Then you have the judgment card. So it's like above it you have this person who's being promiscuous. There might be a sense of uh, competition. But you see things and you're able to make a proper judgment because of it. And with the judgment being upright, I think you're going to make the right choice in terms of whether or not to deal with this person. Or whether or not to be this person. 
And then you do have the Empress, which uh, the Empress, she's the goddess of fertility. She's the goddess of bringing about new things. So this could mean a literal pregnancy or it could just mean, you know, um, manifesting something new, rolling up your sleeves and starting like a new cycle, birthing a new cycle. So that could be, you know, with work, with love, but there's something new on the horizon that you're, you're uh, you know, that you're nurturing. What is the Six of Cups? Yeah, you moved away from someone in the past, and you're building a foundation with someone new. That's what I see. Okay, what is this? Ooh, these cards are flipping. I'm sorry about that, guys. What is this judgment card about? Okay. So, whatever was happening in the past, whether it was you guys, you know, maybe talking to more than one person, or them talking to more than one person... Um, you cut it out. You know, you have the Four of Swords and the Ace of Cups. So with the Four of Swords, that's a rest. That's a break. So I see you making good judgment. And, you know, either that person starts acting right or you start acting right. And it's like you're working towards that ultimate um, emotional fulfillment, okay? With the Ace of Cups, that's just, you know water just overflowing into your cup that's you feeling really good that's a good emotional um beginning that's something that's really going to um you know hit the strings of your heart whether it be with finance or love or you know family now what is this empress about why is this empress here and i'm sorry it got so dark guys since i've been making this video it looks like it's about to thunderstorm outside but i'm in florida and we needed that there's been kind of a drought season going on here all right. So yeah, you're going to start something new. You want something new. And it's like you have this energy about you that it's like, I'm going to run into this and no one's going to stop me. And I have all the facts I need. The Knight of Swords, he's, um, you know, he's a, he's the fastest moving knight, but he has such an intellect and such a wit to him. So it's like he, uh, when you put him in a position where it's like, hey, I need you to get from point A to B, but you can't have anyone distract you, and you need to get there quickly, and you need to do it in, you know, a swift way, he's your guy, okay? He's definitely able to do stuff like that. Now, going into your future, you have the Emperor in reverse, and this is right under where it's like you ended a situation, you're starting something new, um, or you didn't have to necessarily end something with someone else, but I see you guys, you know, getting into a relationship. Uh, you're walking away from your past. You're building a foundation, but there's somebody here who's kind of wearing a mask, okay? They're wearing a mask. They're being fake about something. Um, either that or this person is really wearing their heart on their sleeve right now, but in a sense that it's getting in the way of their logical thinking. Um, and then the next card you have is the Three of Swords in the reverse, okay? So it's like... You had this person in the past who could have been promiscuous, you know, caused the sense of competition, and it's like you want to take a break from that. And maybe, you know, you want this emotional fulfillment, so maybe you took a break from them. Maybe you walked away from them. Or maybe somebody walked away from you. But it's like there's this suppressed heartbreak that's going on right now. Um, this is you guys putting, you know, a band-aid over a bullet wound. So there's something, you know, this this could be you guys being more hurt than what you show about this person in the past and it's like it's still in your head or this could be um, again that third party situation stuff going on because somebody in the past was definitely juggling people so there could be that sense that that's still happening and you're in your heads about it you know you got the nine of swords as the last card for this so with the nine of swords um, this is self-inflicted, okay, guys? This is us being in our head. This is just thinking too much about a situation. And it's like sometimes we make it worse just because of the way we think about it. So if this is you guys in your head, then, you know, make sure that you're not being in your head too much. Um, you know, make sure you nurture yourself, take care of yourself. But if you find yourself up at night, like, tormenting yourself and going through this, because, you know, there's something in the past that you you wanted to give up on, Okay. So maybe that's what you're worried about right now. And if that's the case, then instead of, you know, thinking a lot at night, maybe throw on some meditation or throw on some music, just something to kind of um, keep your mind busy because you don't want to torment yourself in your own mind. And sometimes we make things worse just because how we think about it. Now, what is this emperor in the reverse about? Okay. 
again, more three-party situations. There's someone who's being fake. There's someone, I feel like there's someone who's not being honest, guys. And remember, your energy for this reading was someone who's creeping around. So whether this is you or someone else, somebody's juggling. There's a huge, huge sense of juggling here, okay? What is this Three of Swords? You let go of something toxic, okay? So it's like there's this heartbreak that's there. Could be a third party situation, but it's like you're releasing that, which is good. Give me one more card. Why is this Three of Swords in reverse today? Yeah, you don't want to fight no more. You don't want to fight. You don't want to argue. You're avoiding shit at all costs. This is the Five of Swords in the reverse, okay? Now, what is this Nine of Swords about? Yeah, you're in your head because now you feel lost. You feel like you don't have um, a sense of direction in this matter. Because it's like you want to move forward. You want to birth something new. But it's like there's still this three-party situation going on. Yeah, guys. The three of pentacles in the reverse. Someone's definitely juggling. If it's not you, um, you know, just look for signs. But someone is being dishonest. And I'm sorry, guys, I, I hate doing heavy readings, but, um, yeah, I just really feel like someone is just juggling more than one person. And if, you know, it's not juggling a person, then there's really harsh communication, okay? Because with three pentacles in the reverse, that's people not feeling, um, not feeling understood, not feeling like they're heard. But there's definitely a heavy energy, and I think that there's, you know, some third-party situation going on, um... So, yeah, let me see. I'll pull one more card for you guys. Chariot in the reverse. Okay, so you're going to feel a little lost. You have two cards of feeling lost. You have, you know, the chariot in reverse is chaos, not having control of the chariot that you're on. The two of wands is looking at two paths, but kind of like sitting down in front of them and just being like, well, what now? Where do I go? Do I go left or do I go right? All right? So be aware of what's going on and... And protect yourselves accordingly, you know? Um, if you've listened to your gut, but if you've been feeling like something's been off with the person that you're with, then it probably is. Most people um, won't admit to cheating, guys. So if that's your case, you just got to go with your gut. If we sit there and we seek the validation or we seek the answer from somebody, we'll be stuck with them forever, you know? Um, yeah. I'm sorry that's so heavy, guys, but uh, I will do a mid-month to just make sure that everything's going well with you. Um, and, you know, now the with, this, with the star in the reverse, it's like you're losing faith over something. But let me give you guys some advice to see how you should go about the month, how you should uh, go about the situation, okay? All right. What is some advice that I could give to Aries for the month of June? Some advice for Aries for the month of June. Communion. So I'll show this to you guys. I'm sorry if you can't see that. Let me see. There you go. Okay. So ego card, communion. Let's see what this is about. Okay. If I can find it. Here we go. Alright. So here the man and the eagle make contact through their eyes and spirits. The man has performed a ceremonial calling to eagle brother, who now comes to him as a familiar brother. Um, who now comes to him as a familiar friend, I'm sorry. It's an intimate relationship between human being and feather being, one of both spirits and flesh. Yet it's ultimately this deep spiritual kinship that connects them, formed from the recognition of the sacredness of this bond. Ego spirit is often associated with the highest and noblest, encouraging us to let our spirits soar. Through this communion, we know that we can touch the sky. We know that we can be more than two-legged creatures clinging to the ground. We're intimately related to all of life on the planet, and it's through communing with any expression of life that we realize how vitally connected we all are. Whenever you experience a heartfelt communion with some physical expression of life, plant, animal, human, or anything else, it is only then that you can truly feel 
how your life force is similar to the life force that is all around you. It is only a matter of the differences in form. An essence is articulated into the physical world in a multitude of ways that is the same in everything and everyone, although it manifests in various shapes and characteristics. This essence and spirit emanating from the core of all things. Communion with nature is essential for you now. Take some time to do an open-eyed meditation with any nearby animal or plant. Relax your body as much as possible. Breathe consciously and keep your attention on the life form you are communing with. After a few moments, you will notice a sense of the boundaries dissolving, a melding of the I and thou. You may even receive messages or impressions as you find yourself in the flow of unspoken communication. All right? So that's really, really beautiful. And, you know, guys, the way I see it in terms of love, because the, you know, it could be either one of you guys. It could be you. It could be someone that you're dealing with that's juggling. But what I always say is when you find the person that is truly, I mean, like, you're just like, I'm going to marry you. Like, you are my life. You are my everything. There's no third-party involvement, okay? So I don't care what anyone's telling you. Oh, but baby, I was drunk. Oh, but... It's all bullshit, guys. And even if this is you guys doing it, um, let it go. If they're doing it to you, let it go because they're not the ones. If you're doing it to somebody else, let them go because they're not the one. Because when you find somebody who is the one, you're not going to want to do things like that. And, you know, um, I, I've dated an Aries before and he was awesome and we're still good friends to this day. And he was very upfront and very honest with me just about anything. And um, I feel like from what I've learned about Aries, um, you guys are very in love with love. You know, you like that. You like to have someone around. And there's nothing wrong with that, and it's great. But just make sure that it's not someone just filling a void. Make sure that it's someone that you're actually passionate about. Sometimes it's better to kind of wait on those good things than to keep someone strung along and to have this three-party involvement. Because, again, we have to be very, very careful with the energies and with the karma that we put out. And, you know, that's the only reason that me, myself, I, I stay away from things like that because I just I don't have time for it to come back to me. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Um, I'm sending you guys so many blessings and love, and I hope that everything works out well for you. And check in later this month, and I'll have some updates for you guys. Okay, take care.